Let's bring in Eyewitness News political analyst tonight, David Yankai. And all right, David, let's get right to it. First, we'll get to the good stuff. This debate was well received by our Facebook followers tonight. In fact, let's take a sample. Lori echoed what a lot of folks were saying when she posted, quote, so much better than the last two debate. Now, uh, here's what Bill told us on Facebook. He said, quote, waiting for fact checking when it's over to see who was more accurate. So David, I'm gonna ask you right now, would you see any statements that were kind of questionable tonight? Something that stood out to you as just being completely wrong or false? Well, there were two things. First off, Chicago is not the burner capital of the world in terms of gun safety. Uh, gun safety uh, laws are much more stringent in New York City. Chicago has stringent gun laws, but not as strict as New York City. We had a football player from the New York Giants who basically spent time in jail after he shot himself in the foot. So that's a pretty strong law. Uh, the other thing is, the Trump asks assertions that Hillary Clinton is responsible for bringing in a lot of refugees from Syria is very, is, is, the fact checkers are going to have a ball with that, mainly because there's a vetting process for Syrian refugees, and I think that's going to be a big thing that people are going to be taking a look at. On the other Facebook point that you had asked about, Nick, um, the very fact that people felt it was a better debate, I really agree with that, mainly because down Donald Trump seemed very measured in the first part of this debate. And I think the two of them are going back and forth with, against each other in terms of, you know, logical, um, an exchange of ideas. I think his body language at times was a little problematic because he was like a little rolling his eyes and being a little sarcastic. And of course, she was grinning a lot. But I think on, on level, I think both of them were really um, on their game. Okay, interesting observation. All right, now there has been an issue over whether Trump will accept the results of the election. Now, here's an exchange that people are reacting to instantly online. Watch this. The loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Well, okay? Chris, let me respond to that because that's horrifying. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction. He claims whatever it is is rigged against him. All right, that's a pretty bold statement to his reaction there. Your thoughts tonight, David? In every debate, he goes sailing along pretty well, and then he just goes off the cliff. And for him to basically say, I'll wait and tell you whether I am going to be um, accepting the results of this election is basically stunning, I think, to me, mainly because we've been um, we've been electing presidents for over 200 years, and good or bad election results have been accepted. And for him to basically not categorically say that he would accept the results of the election, uh, to me, is just stunning. And the very fact that, you know, people are saying that there's voter fraud in the whole bit. You know, there's only been 37 cases of voter fraud. And for him to say the election is going to be rigged again, I, he was going along fine, but then he just kind of did a dip. All right, uh, finally, David, we've had, uh, it's been a three-round fight, the third debate, this is the last one. Um, overall, who do you think had the edge? Well, I think on, in terms of style points and in terms on entertainment, I think Trump was, you know, very good in the sense that he, you know, gave us something to watch. But in terms of facts and in terms of looking presidential, I think that, you know, she won um, two and a half out of the three. So I think if you had to give a decision uh, to the person who won the m most amounts of debates, it would be her. And I think people have to ask the question, you know, who do they want representing them at a state dinner? Who do they want representing them and the country? And that's going to be up to uh, the people who are going to vote. We're going to find out in a couple of weeks. Our political analyst tonight, David Yankai. We'll be seeing you back here on election night, I'm sure, too. David, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your analysis.